the last couple of years, we've noticed uh, a rise in an increase in the number of vacant and abandoned properties in our neighborhoods. What we're seeing in the, in the neighborhoods two years ago, we probably had about 4,000, 4,300 vacant properties, but in the last year, we've noticed that number's gone up to about 5,300, 5,500. So when we use that number of 5,300 uh, vacant properties, then people automatically say, well, the city should take over and take those properties over and knock them down or sell them for a dollar. Well, we're frustrated as well when these properties are sitting vacant and open because we can't, because there's still that thing of a property owner's right. Folks need to call the city's 311 line, 645-3111. That, num that information goes to our code enforcement office and then that starts a process. The process being that the code enforcement officer goes out to the property, takes a look at the property, and if there are code violations, obvious code violations, high grass and weeds and an abandoned car, garbage, property, the windows are busted out or the door is wide open, then, then we write up an order and then the, the, we go to the, the auditor's website and, and, the, and use what we have, the tools that are in place to write up, to send an order to the property owner of record. And then we post the property. There's a, you see the orange placards as you ride through neighborhoods where that means code enforcement has been there and has cited it as a vacant property. If they don't act within 14 days, we'll go, the code enforcement officer will go back out, take a look to see if they've cut the grass. If they haven't cut the grass, then we will put an order in and then the city will cut the grass, but with administrative costs, it will cost a property owner about $400 when it's all said and done and then we assess those to their taxes. We encourage neighborhoods to take back their neighborhoods in a way that obviously that, that makes sense, that is safe, um, that, that, will, that will help improve their neighborhood. In the meantime, though, you still call the city, you still call 311, and the city works its processes by, by law that we have to do. We have to follow the law as it relates to that. So, so working hand in hand um, makes, makes a difference. 